Did you think my April Fool's joke was a joke? No, taco really is available. Let me show you these taco potato skins. All right, you guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is simply roll up our potatoes. We're not putting any oil, butter, salt, anything in there. Just a potato in the foil and throw it in the oven. All right, now that our tacos have baked and they've cooled off a little bit, we're gonna take them and we're gonna cut them right down the middle, just like this and like that. And there you have it. Now you need a spoon because we're gonna do this. Pour it out just like this, like we're making a little canoe, like that. Now we got all our little potatoes looking like some canoes. We're gonna take us one pound of beef. We're gonna go on and get that cooking. Next step, we're gonna heat up our peanut oil for deep frying. Notice we're cooking up the meat and we haven't added anything yet. All right, once our meat's all cooked up, now we can season this. Notice the bottle is 3.5 ounces. Anytime you buy a taco packet, it's always one ounce per pound of meat. So that's exactly what we're gonna do here. Just gonna add in the rest of that with a little bit of water, maybe a third of a cup. And this will naturally thicken up as those spices get moisturized. All right, so that only took 30 seconds or so. That is the perfect taco meat. It's got the right amount of moisture in there. All right, we're over 370, 383 degrees. It's time to fry. Drop our little canoes in the water, I guess. Be careful for splashing effects. While those are cooking, let's cut up some onion and jalapeno. Three slits that way, turn it over. Two, three slits that way, then dice. All right, it's been about six or seven minutes. As you can see, they're done. Lay them out canoe side down. After they've rested for a couple minutes, it's now time to prepare these bad boys. Get you a spoon. And we're gonna scoop in some taco meat. Now we're gonna use a little bit of taco sauce. We're gonna go in right over the top. Now get some cheese and we're gonna pile it on thick. White onion, go right on top. And then some of the diced jalapenos. Now we go into our 400 degree oven. All right, my friends, now it's time for the final step. We're gonna hit it with a little bit of sour cream or crema. Now let's give it a bite. I must say, are tacos and potatoes the best thing to go together? No, but I can tell you one thing. If you get that new Dano's taco, that's the orange top and put it on anything you're eating, you won't regret it. Yum, yum, get you some. Taco, 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 taco. taco.